Welcome to our lecture online. Before we answer the question, I want to acknowledge that a lot of the work that we do on these videos actually is done by my wife, who is currently sitting behind the camera. And she often comes up with some really good ideas. And one of the ideas she came up with is that she said, or she asked a question, what would it look like if we could see all the other forms of the electromagnetic spectrum? What if we could see infrared and ultraviolet, x-ray perhaps? Well, that's a really good question. And that kind of leads us to the idea of what would it be like if we could see all of the electromagnetic radiation? What does it actually look like? Well, we really don't know what it would look like if we could see infrared. We understand that visible light is made up of the various colors of the rainbow, and perhaps that's why we can see visible light, because that it puts everything into a different color. And perhaps if we could see infrared or ultraviolet radiation, we would see different kinds of colors, so to speak. Not that we really would know, but it would be interesting what we would see. Because normally now when we go out at night and there's no visible light, we can barely see anything at all. But if we could also see infrared, like what some animals and some insects can do, for example, mosquitoes can find you in the dark, because to mosquito you look like a Christmas tree lighted up, because they can see infrared radiation, and our bodies put out lots of infrared radiation. So if we were like mosquitoes, we could go into the dark, and everything would be as bright as noon during the daytime. That would be a big difference. So night wouldn't exist for us if we could see infrared, radi infrared radiation. We would see everything all the time, regardless of how much light there was, if the sun was up or not. We can't, and there's probably a good reason for that. But then I started thinking, let's expand on that. What if we could see all the radiation around us? What would that actually look like? And then I began to realize that every object in the universe, everything, everything around us, just look around you, the ceiling, the floor, the walls, all the furnishings, the drapes, the windows, your hair, your shoes, everything around us puts out enormous amount of radiation. Much of that is in the infrared. What if we could see it? Well, the problem is, of course, that we understand that we can only see radiation if it enters our eyes. But what if we could watch it at a distance? What if we could see radiation passing by us? What would it look like? Well, to get a feeling for that, I drew up a simple example. Let's say we have a string, and we have two waves traveling on the string in opposite directions. What would it look like as they pass past one another? Notice they're getting closer and closer and closer. And here you can see where the two what we call troughs, which is the bottom part of the wave, as they pass each other, all of a sudden you have double the amplitude in that direction. And then when the wave passes by in such a way that the peak of one wave matches the trough of the other, and the trough of this wave matches the peak of the other, it temporarily cancels out, and you see no wave at all. So, did all of a sudden the wave disappear? No, no, it's still there. But because of what we call the destructive interference of waves as they pass by one another, it looks momentarily like the wave isn't there, and then they reappear as the energy of the wave continues to travel in the direction they were at. So waves are essentially carriers of energy, and our life, our light is being the flash a little bit. Well, back to normal. So Imagine now that we have this in three dimensions. So here I try to picture a room with a person, a desk, a chair, a vase, the walls, the ceiling. Everything is producing enormous amount of radiation. Trillions upon trillions of photons are being emitted every second by every object in the room. And that passes through one another at continuous. So what's really going on, we have this enormous swarm of energy of waves traveling in all directions. And if we could just see that with our eyes, that would be something amazing. We're essentially baited in copious amount of radiation continuously, all the time, coming from all directions. We think of radiation such as what we deal with a cell phone, or maybe come from high power voltage lines, something like that. No, no, it's, it's actually everything around us that produces electromagnetic radiation, and it would just flood space around us continuously. So we have all this radiation going in all directions, continuously passing through one another. That's what we would see if we could see the ENM spectrum in its full. Instead, we only see a very small slice of it, which is the visible light. So what's happening, really what it comes down to, is that every hot object puts out way more radiation than every cold object. And as the hot object puts out lots of radiation, it loses its energy and it cools down. 
The cold object puts out a little bit of radiation, but it receives a lot of radiation from the hot objects around it, so it heats up. And this continues until they're both at the same temperature, and then both just keep exchanging energy, but now they're at the same temperature. And so that's what's happening all over the universe. Everywhere you look, you see that radiation traveling from hot objects in large amounts to cold objects, which put out small amounts of radiation. This just continues continuously. That's what we would see if we could see the whole spectrum. It would be just a myriad of wiggling of energy all around us at all times. Instead, we just see that small little slice of the spectrum. So would those wiggly lines be in color? So that's a good question. Would all those wiggly lines in the different portions of the spectrum be all kinds of different colors, like invisible light? That is hard to say, and I think it only depends upon how our brains would interpret the signals. If our eyes and our brain was set up to identify different portions of the infrared spectrum, perhaps we would see different colors of infrared. You mean colors that we've never seen before? Ah, the colors that we've never seen before. My guess would be that probably would be correct, but now we're dealing with something that we really don't know. We do have infrared detectors, and they will, we then take the electronic signals and turn them into a picture. And those portions that give off higher energy infrared, we make them brighter. And those portions that put out lower infrared, lower energy infrared, we make them dimmer. And that's how we differentiate in our electronic equipment. But would our brains do different things? Would our brains actually turn them into specific types of colors like we've never seen before? Perhaps they would, but we don't have those brains and we can't ask the mosquitoes. <laughs>